the chap who blew his day in the order, they don't know the other guy. Why won't you have a name? Good evening. My name is Paul Reed and I am the president of the Sydney Mechanic School of Arts. Your Excellency, Tom and his family and honoured guests, thank you and welcome to tonight's official opening of the Tom Keneally Centre. I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of this land where we are meeting today, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and I pay my respects to their elders past and present. Tom, as you all know, is one of Australia's most renowned authors, a multiple award winner whose fiction writing has never shied away from the hard issues and whose books are becoming the go-to volumes for the Australian history. We are both pleased and privileged to welcome Tom to the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts and to this centre that is named in his honour, which we hope will become a centre for literary enjoyment. Tom mentioned in a Radio National interview I heard earlier this week that there was a certain synergy between him and the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts. And that is undeniably true. The school was founded in 1833 in principle that working people deserved access to educational opportunities. Those values of open access to knowledge, continued learning and social change are not only still close to our hearts, they are enshrined in our charter, guiding us daily in what we do. They reflect our, the values that are evident in Tom's approach to writing and to life. When the school was approached by an anonymous benefactor, later revealed to be Frank Lowy of the Westfield Group, about the possibility of providing a home for Tom's books and memorabilia, this is extensive, we are honoured to accept. The Westfield Group has been most generous in funding the construction of the Tom Keneally Centre and the school has donated the space and providing, provided furnishings and staffing for the centre. On the shelves are books by Tom, books that he has read both for pleasure and research and signed books by other authors. It is an eclectic mix that speaks of Tom's own literary career and one that I know will be inspiring to our members. I would like to extend a sincere thanks to Tom Keneally and to Frank Lowy to, and to the Westfield Group for making the Tom Keneally Centre possible. Frank Lowy has been unable to make it here this evening, however uh, the Westfield Group is represented by Mark Ryan who has overseen the project. Again thank you Mark 
and thank you to the Westfield Group. I would also like to thank the Schools Board for supporting this undertaking with special mention of Marilyn Bryce, Carol O'Brien and Winsome Allen who have been instrumental in the Tom Keneally Centre preparations. I also give thanks to our members who have volunteered tirelessly to catalogue and shelve the books and also our staff who have pulled together to make the Tom Keneally Centre take shape. The Premier Barry O'Farrell was unable to attend tonight but uh, uh, the Premier has sent a letter which I will read. I'm delighted to offer my support to the official opening of the Tom Keneally Centre at the City Mechanics School of Arts. Tom Keneally is a world-renowned author, Australian author and winner of the Man Booker Prize, the Miles Franklin Award and a New South Wales Premier's Literary Award. Tom Keneally has made an outstanding contribution to the cultural life of Sydney, New South Wales and Australia and I applaud him for his decision to donate his extensive collection of books and memorabilia to the City Mechanics School of Arts. This collection will give others the opportunity to understand and appreciate literary and artistic achievement. On behalf of the people of New South Wales, I would like to thank Mr Keneally, the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts, the Westville Group and all of those involved in making this project possible. We are incredibly grateful for this generous gift and I would like to wish you all the best in your future endeavours. Barry O'Farrell, Premier. I would now like to invite Her Ex Excellency, Professor Mara Bashir, AC, CVO, Governor of New South Wales, to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Mr Paul Reid, President and Council Members, Guest of Honour, Mr Tom Keneally, all the Keneally clan, including the Honourable Christina Keneally, and of course another member of Parliament, Honourable Carmel Tebbett. Westfield members, including Jill Margot, fine journalist, indeed many distinguished guests and many friends. Well, it's certainly wonderful to be here tonight uh, to have... to to celebrate uh, the inauguration of this uh, wonderful centre and certainly it is so fitting that the new centre will bear the name of Tom Keneally who will be honoured long after all of us have gone down. Throughout the ages people will know who Tom is and, and of course those who come to study and work here will uh, feel the elation of his spirit. Well, in 2008, as Governor of New South Wales, I had the great pleasure to become once again the patron of the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts during its 175th anniversary. So I'm deeply aware of the tradition of love of literature and love of learning that the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts has stood for since its foundation in 1833. So I looked, when I was coming here, I looked into the background of the history and what did I find? That it came about in a most inspiring way. It seems that around the mid-1830s, that early colonial period, a number of skilled artisans were recruited from Great Britain to work on the fine sandstone buildings being created in this new and progressive colony. On their long voyage here, they studied assiduously, full of eager anticipation for their new challenges. But much to their disappointment, their shock indeed, on arriving in Sydney, they found no libraries, few schools, no technical institutes nor universities. They were dismayed and disillusioned and word spread amongst the worthy businessmen of the town, one of whom was John Fairfax, later to become publisher of the Sydney Morning Herald. Eventually, a splendid response was made. So the Mechanics Institute was set up to meet the needs of these studious artisans so that working man would have access to continuing education. So these institutes, in a sense, became the forerunners of technical colleges, of libraries for workers, as well as important contributors to a stable society. And certainly, because of that, it mirrors the progress of our country, because its people, 
ordinary people who were far from ordinary, in fact, people determined to improve their lives by enriching their knowledge. So I was delighted to hear that this centre was being created in Tom Keneally's name, name with Tom's books and memorabilia, associating the name of this man with continuing enlightenment, a courageous example of the determination so long ago. And Tom, we all know, is a remarkable Australian. He's certainly one of his, our best-known authors whose works have attracted many celebrated awards. Indeed, he's written novels that have become, I believe, classics. Schindler's Ark, The Chant of Jimmy Blacksmith and a deep and abiding interest in history as his numerous books reflecting our early history indicate. And it's remarkable that the books he has used to research and write these important works have found a home for posterity thanks to the generosity of Mr Frank Lowy and the Lowy family, Westfield Group and of course the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts. So we're bringing together so much enlightenment with, for our country, a long history. So this centre, I have no doubt, will become a culturally significant centre for research into Tom's works or related topics and for the diverse activities which the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts have planned. And I understand, Tom, that you, as the writer in residence, have already been using uh, this facility as well, so that's wonderful. And you'll call in regularly to undertake further research or writing. And I'm sure that the Sydney Mechanics School of Art is very gratified and feels honoured by this. So it's particularly pleasing that it'll be of such lasting value. And I look forward to the heights to which the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts and, and Tom will take the Tom Keneally Centre. It's a unique combination but one that is certainly courageous, an organisation with such an enduring tradition of learning, together with an author who is, and I mean this, a national treasure, one who already has contributed so much to our culture and Australia's literary identity. So congratulations and thank you to all involved. Tom, Mr Frank Lowy, the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts, long may you all flourish, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Oh, and young Australians too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.